gentlemen, what an yes. absolute treat. Oh, oh, thank you. There thank are you. most occasions I, I have a day at work and I just feel fairly insignificant when yeah. I'm in the presence of prolific overachievers, <laughs> which is how I'm going to describe you guys. I'll take it. Oh, good. Just take it. Um, what is it with, I need a window is what I need, into the creative process when it comes to this particular film. Do you throw a whole lot of Lego pieces in the air and just and see, see what, what drops just down? Pick up see what lands in our hands? <laughs> I know. Um, um, there's a lot of iteration and um, uh, and a lot of play back and forth mm -hmm. between us and the other filmmakers and um, it's generally a joy to work with these old characters again who are basically my mom called me today and says oh they're they're like family to me and we always start with like trying to figure out what do we want to say what do we want to put out in the world what theme feels important and interesting and fun uh, and positive enough to, to to share with the world and then we try to build a story off of that. Do you, look, we obviously have a comedy genius in our country by the name of Taika Waititi. He what is, a delight that man is. Uh, he's uh, a delight, uh, isn't uh, he? He's uh, full he, of energy and warmth and, and humor. What he does that you guys also do so well is you can take some quite big themes and ideas, mm -hmm. and some of them quite emotionally heavy mm -hmm. ones, mm -hmm. and you wrap it up in humor. It's almost like sweetening the pill in mm -hmm. a lot of ways. Yeah. Do, yes. you feel, <laughs> do you feel your animation gives you that freedom to, to be a little edgier with your comedy? Yes, and I think it's our personality. I think I, I, I hesitate to say that we share that with Tycho as a genius and is way beyond us. But, you know, we try to take things that are serious and, um, and, and, and fold them through our personality, which is ultimately positive and sincere. We try to, we see things and we're ultimately optimists, even though we're also deeply cynical. Right, this is the perfect story then. You're a little bit of Emma and a little bit of Rex. That's exactly. It. Kind That's of it. ideal. Yeah. Do you understand, I mean, I'm sure you do, but do you have a concept of how how powerful you can be in speaking to different generations? Because this story did for me. It had those themes that I want my six-year-old to take on board oh, that's as nice. a little human yes. uh, whilst amusing us. Do you get a sense of how powerful that is? Well, I, I have two kids that are nine and six, a boy and a girl. The same dynamic as in this movie. It was a real inspiration for me. And I wanted to make a movie that um, I'm excited and proud for my kids to see. And that's something that I think that everyone can get something out of. You know, we ultimately make these movies for ourselves, for each other. It just so happens that our, our sense of humor is immature enough that kids seem to like it too. Uh, but it's but a big responsibility. You know, <laughs> two hours of a human being's undivided attention is a real gift. And so we, we treat, take that very seriously and we try to deliver something that's worth people's time. Amazing. I'm being grabbed. I could sit all here right. all day. Honestly. Oh my gosh. No. Thank you so I much. I like Taika so much. I think he's the best.